everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, Elena and I are going to share with you a huge toy haul. This is a collective haul, so this is not toys that she has accumulated over the last day or so. This is, a, this is some things that she's got over the past few weeks, um, partly for um, Easter and also just a few treats because mummy is a pushover and so is grandma anyway. So is grandma and auntie Linda. So I just thought I would share some of these things with you because um, a lot of them are quite like popular. What are you doing to that plant? <laughs> a lot of them are quite popular themed toys. So there's trolls, there's Disney, um, loads of Disney, Disney princesses, Mi <laughs> all right, Minnie Mouse, Jasmine, Aurora, right. I'm, so yeah. I'm right. yeah, so let's get started with what she's holding. <laughs> Right now, let's, let's show everybody what you're holding just now. What have you got? These are little Disney princesses, from, like li the Little Kingdom ones. Um, and we picked these up today in Wilco or Wilkinson's, um, reduced from five pounds to three pounds each. And they are just tiny little princesses, basically, that come with little snap-ins, they're called. So they have like come with little bits for their dresses. Like the Snow White one has two little apples that you can add to her dress. And they also come with like crowns or Snow White has a headband that you can remove as well. Jasmine and Aurora were the other two that she picked up and they have crowns that you can take on and off as well. So she got three today. Jasmine from Aladdin, um, Aurora from Sleeping Beauty and Snow White from Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. These are like little flowers that snap into Aurora's dress. So there's like a little snappy hole here. There we go. And Aurora's missing her crown at the moment, so we need to put that back on. So she picked those up, up today. The other thing that she's picked up recently is Poppy the Troll from the Trolls movie, Poppy's Coronation Pod, which is basically like a little house. And it comes with Poppy and Branch. They're very like glittery ones. And it has a sort of dance floor in the middle of the pod, which lights up and spins. Um, I wish it sang as well. It'd be really nice if it played music, but it doesn't. It just lights up and spins. And it comes with things like spare crowns for them and dresses for Poppy and like a hairbrush and um, a little table with little cupcakes on and all these little accessories. And she just loves things like that. She loves tiny little things, which I really need to be careful about when the new baby comes along. I'll need to make sure that all of these things are upstairs in her bedroom and not in the little one's reach. But she loves things like this, so I will show you in a cutaway how it looks and show you her playing with that as well. So this is Poppy's coronation pod, isn't it? Yes. You open up and see what's inside. Let's move your juice. Wow. Oh yes. The dance floor lights up and spins, doesn't it? Closes up like a little house and it opens up. You've got Poppy's wardrobe with skirts hanging up. That band, that puppy all hanging up. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then what else have we got? A table with cakes. And we've got Poppy and Branch. Oh, yeah. there, the dance floor lights up, see? I'm putting, I'm putting it. I'm putting. Let's get out of that. I'm putting it. Put them counting. Put a spell Then tell what. The next thing that we picked up her recently, I actually got on eBay because I couldn't really find it anywhere or at least not for a decent price. And this was the Minnie Mouse Mansion and she saw this first on YouTube. There's a Toys Unlimited video that I'm sure if you've got kids they've probably come across before. And she watches it non-stop and it's basically them opening and putting together Minnie Mouse's Mansion. But I think it's a few years old and so I couldn't really find it anywhere in the UK or maybe it's a US thing, I don't know. I could find it on Amazon for over £100 and there was no way I was paying over £100. So I managed to source it off eBay for, for around about £20, including postage and packaging. Um, and we saved it for a kind of end of payday treat. So usually at the beginning of the month, she asks me for something and I say, mummy has to work this month. I'll work for the full month and then I'll see if I've got enough pennies. If I make enough pennies at the end of this month from my work, then I can buy it for you. Obviously, unless it's something huge, she used to wait for her birthday. Um, but this was just around £20 mark and I'll show you what it looks like. 
It's pretty cool. It came with all of the bits, which was amazing because it is obviously second hand. It came in a fantastic condition. I totally recommend eBay for toys if you don't want to spend a lot of money because be very careful, look at the photographs carefully, but so far in my experience, everything that I've got from there has been really great quality. Um, and like I bought a, a backup Rapunzel soft doll, say that quietly, um, which I'll show you what this looks like. But I got she got the original from um, the Disney store for her Christmas when she was six months old and she's so attached to that, that toy. To pick up something um, that I could swap them out when one was dirty because it's really hard to take it off her and put it in the washing machine. She always wants it in bed. So I picked up another one on eBay for a fraction of the price. It was like around about five pounds delivered. Um, or less, I think, actually, um, and stuck it in the washing machine, good as new. So absolutely re recommend eBay if you want to pick up some toys at a really, really great price. I also picked up a bunch of Disney figures from eBay, um, just a random Disney figures lot on eBay, which I'll show you just now what's included in that. And again, it was like something like six pounds something plus a couple of pounds delivery. But for the amount of things that you got in that bag of stuff. Completely, completely worth it. The next toy I picked up was also from eBay and it's also Disney mini themed and it was the kind of pool party set. I haven't seen this in any of the shops so it could be something that's been discontinued but again I picked this up off eBay and I thought it would go perfect with the mini mansion and it's basically like a, a pool set that comes with a slide, a swing, a little bar area with a seat um, it comes with mini of course and with a ring as well. It also comes with a towel I think, like a little sun lounger for her to sit by the bar. I just thought this was super cute to go with the mini mansion and again I got this off eBay for ridiculously cheap so definitely, especially things that can be easily washed, I definitely suggest having a look on eBay for those things. The final thing we picked up this time recently in the last kind of month and a half was this Disney print, was this Disney set from the Disney store and this is the Jasmine one and she got the Alice in Wonderland one from Santa for Christmas and then she got the Merida one with her Christmas money when she was spending her Christmas money and the Merida one from Brave. So this time we gave her the Jasmine from Aladdin one as a bit of a treat. When she's been really really good with her potty training we give her this and it comes with like a little jasmine that's like a toddler version it's so super cute it comes with her horse comes with a little a little lamb which you see the little lambs around her when she's singing when she's reading her book it comes with a book of course a basket with bread comes with little pigs because she feeds her pigs at the house and then it comes with mrs potts the teapot and chip the mug it also comes with a brush for jasmine and a brush for the horse and it's just a really, really gorgeous set. I think this is, and it comes in, it comes in a carry case, which is really, really handy for just shoving all her toys in and taking them when you're out and about. She likes to take this to church with her, and I mean that I can make sure everything's together in the carry case, and then she can take it with her easily. And I believe this is in around fifteen pounds from the Disney store, which is not cheap at all. But you do get quite a lot of little different bits and pieces, and I really like the Alice one and the. The Merida one as well. So this is another addition to her collection. Honestly I feel like I want her to collect them all. I'm a bit of a kleptomaniac when it comes to things like this and I'm like already thinking about the ones that she doesn't have. I'm pretty sure that there is a Rapunzel one. I'm fairly sure there might be a Frozen one. I don't think there's a Little Mermaid one but there should be so Disney Store please take note if you're watching. and um, We would like to see an Ariel one. But yeah, no, these are super cute, super cute and I think those are a really great gift if you're buying for, for another child because it's hours and hours and hours of play. Keeps her amused for ages. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already, we would really appreciate you joining the My Fashion Cupboard Baby family and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Say thank you for seeing all my toys. Thank you. Did you like to ask them if they liked your toys? You like okay. my toys? You like my toys? Careful, don't kick the camera. Do you like my toys? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and what do you say for all your toys that you've got from everyone this past month? Thank you.
Thank you. Are you very, very fortunate, young lady? <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.